Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is the unboxing and installation of the Zuka cart. It should be the all black Zuka cart from Dynamic Discs. And let's take a look and see what we got. So this is the main piece here. This will be the frame and the insert bag. And we also have the axle and we have the handle and we got a couple of cup holders so what we'll go ahead and do here first is we will unwrap this piece here This is like the matte black color of the Zuka cart. You can see it there. The back side. So this will make to be a very good tournament bag to be able to sit down in between rounds and then also in between other groups that are in front of us playing. So pretty excited to have a bag and a place to sit because I don't have a stool. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and unzip here because this is where the wheels belong on the inside of the bag here. All right. First off, we've got a couple of Zuka mini bags where you can. put your wallet and keys, and I assume pretty much anything else that's normally in your pockets, you could put into these little smaller bags. I'm not sure if I'll actually use these bags, but um, they do have the dynamic disc logo on it. And other than that, they pretty good quality. Here's the inside of the bag with the different dividers inside here. So we'll take a look at those and get those situated later. But for now, what we'll go ahead and do is take off the axle. And then you will want to look here, it has a little Allen wrench here. So don't lose that. All right, so it looks like the easiest way to do this is to remove the two spacers and grab your wheel that has the two little round objects on the inside. And you want those to be facing inwards. And then you will take your spacer, put the spacer in between there. You should see the two little divots right here. And then we are going to push it through. There we go. And then we will take the other spacer and add it here. And again, for this wheel, you'll see the two little divots on the inside. They are not located on that. You want the two little divots facing inward so you don't see those two little divots. And then once you've done that, you can push it through. All right, and when we get that secure, we'll take the other object here and twist it in. It looks like the key here will be to Make sure this is as tight as possible when you're twisting both of these sides. And use the Allen wrench to 
make it a little bit more tighter here and flush with the axle and that feels pretty sturdy. All right. Okay, yeah, it's about that height for now. And then you'll twist this back to clamp it. And then clamp the top here as well. That way that's all sturdy. All right. Perfect. And what we'll go ahead and do next is we will add the cup holders to the back side of the cart. So what Zuka does, which is pretty nice, is that you have these little screws that are just barely screwed in. You can actually unscrew them with your hand and um, get these cup holders attached. And what we'll do, just so you can see it a little bit better, is angle it this way, but um, yeah, most of the reviews that are on these um, cup holders is uh, that they're not very good. <laughs> so we'll definitely have to be looking into maybe getting a new uh, cup holder for this Zuka disc golf cart. But for now, I'll at least test it out and see how it goes. I've never had uh, a cart before with disc golf, so I'm hoping that these cup holders will do so that way I don't have to spend the extra money to get new ones. But, you know, if I end up having to get um, new cup holders, that would be fine. But I'm hoping that these will, you know, do the trick. And this would probably be a lot easier to do if this was laid down. But for right now, this will be fine here. Okay, that's pretty solid there. And we'll do the same thing with the other screws on this side. All right, and now for the center compartment, what we'll go ahead and do here. And you can see that uh, the Zuka cart, be able to tuck that up above pretty seamlessly. And it comes with a couple divider so this looks like this would be the center divider and this would probably be the top divider here so you can keep some storage up top here and this is for the back oh and the, that is really nice so it folds down into the back there so Uh, is pretty nice. You got your little compartment up here up top and then you'll be able to use your divider down low and the inside of this bag I believe is advertised for 15 or 20 discs um, so you'll be able to fit plenty of discs in here and you can kind of play around with your inserts and you know add it however you would like uh, whatever's best for you this was an unboxing and installation of the zuka compact disc golf cart i am excited to start creating and putting out more disc golf content and i would greatly appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to my channel i'm just starting out and i hope you can join me in my journey to add more disc golf related content Thank you and have a great day.